Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Becoming a Hero in Company Heroes 2. My name is ATR, and today we're going to be watching, not playing, some 1v1 multiplayer action. Right now. <laughs> so, like I was saying before, I am, um, like I said, changing the format of the uh, original one, and I essentially recorded the game as I played, and now I am commentating on top of it to hopefully be able to at least talk more <laughs> during the process. I am also uh, doing more new kind of stuff, and hopefully that adds onto the game, because, well, I can do this. Look, like right here, I'm going to send my riflemen that are right there over here. See that? That looked nice, right? I think it does. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, I'm still following the uh, guide by... Um, uh, God damn it, why did I always forget his name? Corporal Shepard. And, uh, and yeah, it's uh, the Airborne Doctrine one, so I select it right off the bat. And it is essentially to get uh, three riflemen into, into uh, ambulance, which I guess is considered kind of standard. I don't know. I still haven't casted any games, at least not to this point, and I don't think I will be able to do those this week. It's, uh, it's hard, but I would actually rather play the game a little bit more, get a little bit better with it, and be more familiar with the uh, factions before I start casting again. Because, well, technically speaking, before I started casting originally, I did have, like, at least a month of gameplay behind me um, that I had, you know, just cast, well, self-casted, I guess, the uh, original Becoming a Hero episodes. So, you know, that also gave me a little bit of knowledge beforehand. So, we'll see. So, anyways, uh, I'm sending my troops into the center because, again, I'm thinking, well, I should be keeping the troops ar uh, around themselves to support. I mean, the rear echelon troops are able to help out with the um, with the volley ability to lock down anything else. So right now I'm going against Austere, which I kind of feel a little bit more comfortable against because, well, I at least know what to expect from them rather than the uh, Overcommando. And I'm not getting any Overcommandos against me right now, so it's unfortunate, but well, I'm sure I'll eventually run into them. So I noticed as he's using MGs, I uh, jump over the fence right there with my Riflemen down here. You can see them right there now. <laughs> uh, the uh, Pioneer Squad is forced to retreat. I send my second squad back here, but uh, it's not in participating in the fight, so I am going to send them in this direction. What the hell was that? These guys in this direction. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> kind of sucks that the camera moves by itself, so I may actually use this for, the, uh, for casting, so kind of nice. So anyways, uh, one weakness that I noticed, I mean, obviously you can modify the uh, strategy. You don't have to set it in stone, but you can see there that the enemy has two MGs out here. So he seems to be a little bit more inclined to uh, maybe lock me down. I mean, he may be trying to go for the you know, classic Samoa pin where he uh, cuts you off like right here, down there in the map. And this, uh, this point sets up a MG in the house and you're unable to move out through there. And you're just forced to move through here or like ram your face into his uh, MGs. So what I was thinking, and I don't know why I didn't do that, do that uh, is if I see a player like that, once I go for the captain, which I think I should still go for anyways, uh, I should get the howitzer, the, uh, the mobile howitzer, rather than the AT gun maybe? I don't know. I mean, like right now, since I'm just starting, I'm basically trying to follow the, uh, the build order to the letter so that I can get accustomed to it, and then maybe uh, make modifications, but... There you go. So anyways, uh, I try and hold him off as much as I can, trying to do as much damage as I can to the troops. I do take quite a beating on mine, but I don't lose anybody, thankfully, this time. So I should at least have one rifleman squad that I can send out to different parts. And I also have the ambulance now, so I decide, okay, well, I'll just set up right here at the entrance of my base so that he can't actually pin me and I can continue to control at least some territory outside because I can just uh, cycle troops inside of this house, like put him in. And, uh, and and get them out and heal up and then back in. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, well, I can do that. So my Pathfinders are coming out. The Pathfinders, I'm going to be using them to spot ahead of me. And I send these riflemen, I uh, send them to cap, like, all the southern side, like, while he's not you know, paying attention. So the Pathfinders are now out, and I am not sending anything to the north. I'm sending my riflemen back out, and I decide to pop out with my echelon troops so they can reinforce. They don't need to repair just yet, but you know, I'm thinking, okay, well, 
That's fine. Unfortunately, I can't push because I don't have that, and that is one of, like I said, one of the weaknesses that, weaknesses that I noticed is that until my Stuart light tank comes out, I have no way of pushing because, well, supposedly, at least to the build, you want to only use your fuel for this this guy, the uh, the ambulance. Uh, maybe I should just say this guy over here because it's a little bit easier. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, uh, the ambulance, and then just you know, uh, get yourself uh, the uh, the heavy MG that you can get from your your thing. You also get an AT gun from tier two. This one, once you get your uh, your captain. So, like I said, right now I'm essentially pinned because I don't have a way. So maybe it would be good, like considering what I've seen, to maybe invest into grenades for my rifleman. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I still don't have too much munitions. I mean, look at that. I only have 76. So. Unless I get really lucky with the crits, I don't think I would be able to flush out those, but I don't know. Maybe it's something to keep in mind. But again, I'm thinking, well, if I see something like this again, uh, you know, a little bit more heavy with the MGs and mortars, maybe. Um, maybe I can blast out uh, the uh, howitzer gun. So right there, my uh, Pathfinders were just giving me vision, and uh, they managed to force away those grand squads. And again, look at that. There's another MG right there. So I mean, uh, he has one in the uh, in the church, one in the top gun over, uh, in the top uh, house right there. So essentially, he has like three MGs covering this entire line, so that I can't pass. And I have no way of passing. Like with what I have right now, I have no way of passing. And again, I really wish that this guy, the captain, this guy up here, would show up in the unit list as he's being built, because it's kind of annoying. Um. At least for the casting perspective. I know it doesn't really affect you too much because he will come out, as, essentially, but it uh, makes it tough. So, yeah, right there, if you noticed, I was building the AT gun because, well, it says build an AT gun or uh, get yourself the uh, the MG. I should have probably gotten the MG and at least put it in the house or probably try to push and maybe fight the MG to MG. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the uh, Tier 3 does give you the, uh, the howitzer, so, I mean, you know, try to flush him out and break the lines with that howitzer so i'll maybe try that not next game because i uh you know i already played that <laughs> but you know the the next games after that so again i pop out my echelons from the house and put in a rifleman squad so that they can cycle out and reinforce here on the uh on the ambulance eh. And I decide to send a rifleman squad up through the north and capture these points, since these points are not really being contested right now by anybody. And I have this guy down south. Yeah, exactly that. And it uh, and it went all the way to the fuel point, so I'm happy with that. Now sending him up north, I notice that rifleman squad, I mean the uh, grenadier squad, with an LMG, so I decide to send my pathfinders to help out. Thankfully, though, it was a three-man squad, and it loses one guy rather quickly. So he decides to retreat, so I'm not forced to uh, keep anything out there. So I send everything back into the center. Also, at this point, I call the 50 cal machine gun finally, um, which I should have done a while ago, but I forgot about it. So now I uh, finally did that. I retreat my... Uh, my I keep saying conscripts with my grenadiers. Now, riflemen, goddammit, from uh, the house as they took a beating, get them reinforced and healed up, and I put the captain inside that house. Again, just cycling troops whenever I can so that they can uh, hold off for a while. I don't know if that's good or not, but anyway, so the grenadiers, uh, goddammit, riflemen down south do manage to capture that and almost get the kill on the uh, Pios, but the Pios do retreat and they make it out of there alive. So he now has a mortar and is bombarding my house. Again, that's why I'm thinking, well, instead of building this AT gun that's down here, uh, get the howitzer out. And the howitzer will probably help out a little bit more, help me dislodge those MGs and counter barrage the uh, German mortar and such, because I'm pretty sure it has a lot more range. It's a howitzer, come on. Here I get uh, very lucky. He decides to leapfrog with his MG, trying to, again, he's trying to pin me. Um, so I pop my... Uh, I noticed these guys aren't doing anything, so I'm sending them back out. But anyways, I uh, put my uh, captain inside the house, or at least I try to. Yeah, I do. And the uh, MG pops out through the front, which is good for me, and it gets killed, so it gives me a free MG-42, which is nice. 50 cal machine gun gets uh, recovered over here. Echelon troop getting reinforced. And this guy's come out, so that's nice. And I pop my, uh, my heal again. The heal is free. It's just on a cooldown. It, uh... It's unfortunate that it is not automatic, because that would be easier for me, but, you know, it's understandable why it wouldn't be. 
So I'm using the AT gun now, essentially, to try to dislodge those MGs, which, again, I mean, yeah, it'll do, but it's a little bit better if you do it, you know, with more indirect fire, because here it's direct fire, it's just shooting straight at the house, like, from here, from there. <laughs> but now I'm getting uh, mortared, and I do the smartest thing, and that is to clump up so that, you know, my troops can absorb more shots. <laughs> so my AT gun is just getting mauled there by the mortar to pull it back it's still getting reinforced there by the uh, by the ambulance and I have that uh, squad right there the um, the pathfinders just a spot up in the north you can see there these guys ah there we go exactly wow I'm thinking exactly as I was doing it in the game that's kind of funny considering I it isn't the last game I played I did play uh, another one after that so now my steward is out and I'm thinking okay well now with the steward I can actually push and get those MG42s out of the way and I will be able to do so, at least in some way, but it uh, it's not exactly perfect. So the Echelon Troop goes here. Problem is I can't r retreat them, because if they retreat, they go all the way back to base until I get my Major. So I have to be a little bit more proactive in how I s tell them to move around. So I should be able to queue up the Echelon Troop to move back to the Ambulance. Because right now she's, it's going to stay sitting there, like you can see it right there. It just stays sitting there for a little while, not doing anything. There it goes, finally moves. So, I gotta practice that a little bit more. Get those fine controls and micro. So you can see down south that he's taking some spots. I'm taking the spots up north. And since that uh, third rifleman squad stayed alive, I'm able to, you know, go more out in the map. So the 50 cal machine gun took a beating, moving back out. The uh, steward is now my uh, lead guy. I push him forward. Trying to get some side. MG42 in the church is going to be now my next target. So the steward moves up and starts getting some shots in. And I decide to move the AT gun a little bit further forward so that it can also provide some support. And try to quickly flush out that that uh, that MG. And again, like I was saying, probably the howitzer would be maybe better to flush those out. Now... Rifleman squad was lost, and I think it was lost up north. I forget though exactly where. Let me see if I can go back to the point where it was. There it is. So, yeah, you can see. Oh, okay. So it's a sniper up north. You can see it right there. Like right there. Down a one. Sniper shoots, and I'm not noticing because I'm just capturing the point. But, well, I'm you know I'm st I'm stupid. So, and there you go. So. So yeah, one of the rifleman squad gets killed. I look up there and I don't notice what it was. But I decide uh, to... No, actually, I don't do it there. I do it a little bit further out because if you notice, now you can actually see the sniper on the field because he's capturing with the sniper. So I decide to send out my uh, steward after the sniper after a little while. So I use the MG42 that I stole in that house. I have the 50 cal machine gun back here not doing anything that needs to at least pop into the house. But I don't want to pop it into the house because it just keeps getting mortared, which is annoying for me right now. But well, there you go. So I use the captain to push forward with those uh, bazookas. It can also dislodge from the church. But the MG42 pops out. Down south, the uh, rifle—I mean, the uh, grenadiers—are just uh, rifle nading that MG. It's down to two men, but it's still holding strong, and it is getting it suppressed. Another rifle nade goes in, but it stays alive. And I don't think I evacuated. What I do is I pop in my echelon troops so they can at least continue the fight. And I think then afterwards I do that. So I notice finally, oh, so that was a sniper. And I send my steward after it immediately. Try to see if I can hunt it down and kill it. So the MG does manage to force the troops away on this side. My echelon troop, I just pop it in so that there are more targets that take damage in that house. Rather than just being focused on the uh, on that troop, the sniper does retreat from my steward, so I send the steward down south. His mortar backs off. I can see it right there, and the steward is gonna go try and kill it. You can see there my clicks, furiously clicking in its direction. <laughs> so the steward does spot it. I chase it down a little bit, and at this point, I'm just trying to do some little bit of manpower bleed because I know that well. I mean, he's gonna recover it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I kill it. So I run in. I see an MG42. I see another MG42, and I'm thinking, hey, I can do a lot of damage here. There's the sniper. Oh, wait, that's a grunt squad. I do take out the mortar, but again, it's right at his base. I get Fausted, 
and I decide to reverse out of the uh, base so that I can continue to shoot a little bit and keep it alive. The uh, the 50 cal machine gun, I put it there in the church. I have my uh, my guy, what is it called? The uh, the major. So I decide to send them further out and put the forward reinforced position there. And uh, my captain is just moving around, trying to recapture some territory. There we go. I am floating some manpower at this point. I should be able to get a uh, howitzer and also maybe call in another paratrooper squad. Paratrooper squad could be done just right there immediately because it doesn't take too long. And if you notice out here, I pop out my uh, crew on the steward to uh, repair it and recruit it afterwards. So. That is a very nice ability there for the Americans. So the sniper comes out, starts getting some shots off on my thing. The sniper is right there, so I decide to try and chase it down, get some damage off on it, and down goes the sniper. So nice little victory there for me. Stewart is going to get fausted again, but I'm going to be backing off, so I'm fine with it. I do have an engagement going down down south that I haven't noticed yet. It's a uh, rifleman squad that's just taking damage. But again, it takes me quite a while to notice. Thankfully, though, it's still at four men. It's this guy. Three men now. And I notice that. This guy's getting attacked. There's MG 42s down the south. So let's go ahead and get out of the way. Stewart, unfortunately, is damaged. So I decided to pop out, get repairs, and put it back on. Because I didn't want to send it all the way down south and try to engage those MGs. Because MGs, well, they're not going to do anything against a tank, are they? Well, they could with the incendiary rounds. Stewart is pretty light, but, I mean, it's going to be tough. So... Popping my Pathfinders forward just to get some sight range using my uh, captain up in the front. And I have the uh, the howitzer. Now, I should uh, practice sending my captain, this guy, sending him back to base, like going all the way back so that he uh, can do that. But now I notice, oh shit, that's a Panzer IV. I do have an AT gun. It's a little bit further back, so I decided to start building a... Uh, um, a tank destroyer to try and fight that Panzer IV. Because I'm not going to be able to fight it any other way. So the steward, I uh, decided to move it out of the way. I mean, it can't really take on a, uh, a Panzer IV. I put the AT gun in the center. Pathfinders, I moved them back a little bit. And I have everything back here that just needs to come back out there. I got the echelon troop in the uh, church. I should have gotten them out right there, but I'm positioning my pathfinders. And my echelon troops just keep getting shot at. Down to one man. I try to get it out, but it dies. I'm like, ah, man. So the pathfinders move back and get themselves into cloak so they can at least still spot. But the Panzer IV knew exactly where they were. And, well, actually, no. The uh, the troops here, they move in range and actually reveal them. He also rifle nades them, so I have to retreat. I do have the AT gun back there, and it is defended by a 50 cal machine gun, so I'm not too worried about that. The uh, steward did go down south to engage, and the Panzer IV, I believe, noticed them, so I sent my steward right away to get out of there, and you can see right there the, uh, the Panzer IV engages it, and I'm like, shit. It takes a shot, still alive, and I believe the other shot misses. I'm sending it right now to get the hell out of there. And there it goes. I also tell it to go in this direction, like right through here so that it doesn't like go through the edge and get shot. So I keep it alive, and I do have back up here the uh, the tank destroyer now. Center map, he throws a barrage of some sorts at me, and I decide to walk into it, and then I notice what the hell is going on, and I, uh, I retreat. My uh, riflemen do stay alive, so I'm, you know, okay with that. I did take quite a beating, but I do have a lot of manpower because I haven't called in a single paratrooper squad, which I should have a while ago. And the uh, sniper, or another sniper, moves up and starts clearing out my things. So down south we have the engagement of the uh, tank destroyer and the Panzer IV. I'm not too familiar exactly how strong this guy is. I know he's weak. I mean, he's a rather weak tank, you can say there. Uh, but he's pretty powerful on the weapon. And like right there he moves forward, but he decides to shoot in this direction rather than at the Panzer IV, which is unfortunate for me. There the frontal shot bounces, and I'm thinking, okay, I think I got this guy. I hit him. Look at the health. He's like down to a sliver of health, but he moves forward and kills it. So I now know that, oh, okay, so it can't really take too many hits there. So I notice, well, that tank is really low in health. 
And I have this MG over here. MG is engaging the other two MGs at the same time. And I decide to send the steward down there. And I'm like, maybe I can actually get a bit of a snipe there on that Panzer IV. The uh, steward moves there, but I get a little bit unlucky here because, well, the MG42s move out. And I tell the steward, uh, oh, wait, move up over here and kill that sniper. Kills the sniper, so I'm good with that. And then I notice, well, the Panzer IV is right there shooting at my MG, but the MG gets cleared right there. So I send the steward there, but it makes it just to the edge of the river. But look at what happens. He moves in, takes a shot, and boom, destroys the main weapon of the Panzer IV. So I'm like, I can get the kill, but I send them after that. But because the uh, weapon is right there, it's blocking the path. So the steward has to move out of the way. So I'm like, ah, shit, just go around, go, 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 and try to chase him down. So I'm thinking, well, he either goes just around here to repair, or maybe he hides it behind the hedge here or all the way up the base. So I'm just sending it around there and keeping an eye. Hopefully I can catch that. The uh, heavy machine gun gets recruited there by the uh, rifle rifleman. And my ambulance, I move it a little bit too far forward. Not exactly sure why I did that. Well, I mean, I moved it forward so I didn't have to move my AT guns. So now I'm figuring out, okay, uh, where's this Panzer for? No? Okay, let's send them back to behind this hedge, see if I can spot him. My AT gun gets decrewed there by those guys, and I decide to call in a, uh, a paratrooper squad, since I have a beacon right there. And uh, my ambulance, I'm, I'm like, oh shit, why did I leave it there? And it gets killed. It's a big mistake there by my part, so I can't reinforce my guys on the fly. But the paratrooper squad does come out, and now I see the steward. The steward, and there he goes, and I spot the Panzer IV. Start getting some shots off on the Panzer IV. And I'm trying to kill the uh, the Pios. I was trying to notice, do, does this tank have crush? But it does not look like it has crush, because I'm just pushing them. Um, even though I, like, hit them, it's, like, dead on. So I decide, you know what, that tank is getting repaired a little bit too much. Let's go ahead and just bombard it with the uh, Thunderbolt. And since I don't have the ambulance, I'm just going to retreat everything because they're not doing anything there. And the strafing run comes in and rockets just fly all over the place, getting a lot of damage there on that Panzer IV. Panzer IV almost completely dead. I decide to focus down on the Pios, try and get the kill on those. But he does have a Grenadier squad there. The Grenadier squad does move up and is going to get a Faust off on me. I try to move out of the way, but a little bit too late. Shrek goes off, gets a rear armor hit. And I should uh, leave the uh, steward there accidentally, even though I meant to send them back to base. So he's getting some shots off at a distance at that uh, Panzer IV. Oh no, I told him to reverse all the way back there, so it decides to just turn around. Getting some shots off at a distance, I move him forward. I focus down the uh, Pios, I think. But I notice the Grants are chasing me again, so I back off. And I just want to make sure that I have enough line of sight because the Thunderbolt is still coming down. And there comes the Barrage, and boom, down goes the Panzer IV. So I'm feeling quite nice there, and I send my steward back. The uh, Grenadier is chasing it down, she's getting shot at, and it makes it out. So all I need to do now is keep that steward alive. It also notices, you'll see there on the minimap, a uh, mortar. And while I want to go chase it down, I am very damaged and with a low amount of health. So I decide to move out of the way. Here I'm thinking, well, he saw me with the mortar, maybe he's going to try and barrage like the path. So I'm just going to break to another side and uh, make it out of there. And now I'm reinforcing all my troops back at base and getting another ambulance because I do want that forward reinforce. Unfortunately for me, though, he did build another Panzer IV and kills my steward, which is unfortunate. So I also queue up the uh, tank destroyer and I tell the uh, captain that he should just go, you know, do the ability there to build to build a tank destroyer rather quickly. So I'm thinking, well, I've lost a lot of things. I'm less than 200 points now. Let's get that tank out ASAP. Uh, let's set up our forward reinforcement point there with the uh, with the guy. I have to remain, remember that this point doesn't help me too much. I need to put him like closer to here, like in the, around here, because the ambulance being here is not going to reinforce anything. It needs to be like right at the edge of this point, if you have this strategic point captured, so that it can reinforce, because this side over here doesn't actually count as any territory, so it doesn't give me that ability. So that's something I forgot that I have to keep in mind. So again, because I don't have any uh, tanks or any mortars, these MG42s are just sitting in front of the house. I decide that I want to go nade them with my guys because I have nades now on my paratroopers. Another thing I could have done is lay down a satchel, which I was thinking about doing. 
And I think I actually tell them to do it. But I start focusing more a little bit on the fight here on the Panzer IV. I do get the rifle laid off by the uh, ri by the uh, rifleman <laughs> and uh, and damage the engine on the Panzer IV. However, I go a little bit too forward, too bold, and end up getting heavily damaged and fousted there by those Grens. Panzer IV just moves in and is going to finish me off. So I'm just I just give out the GG because I know that I'm not going to win it. And there it goes. So look out for the heavy noise it's over. Ah, that's great We've been defeated. so yeah i lost that one uh it was mine to lose because i had it i think at some point but i need to work on my control there on that steward maybe i don't know but yeah i mean i need to be a little bit more flexible with that uh build order depending on the situation i mean it's a good you know it's nice i like the way it feels but it uh I shouldn't be following it to the letter, I think. Like, I need to be able to adapt. And I think there, the uh, the mobile howitzer, like, from Tier 3, would have helped out a lot against those MGs. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not how it works. So, maybe. Maybe, maybe. So, yeah. Uh, let's look at that, uh, that death of our base once again. And we'll, uh, we'll close that out. So, anyways, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time.